Our flight from Frankfurt to Warsaw was late. We missed our connecting flight to Odessa. The upside was that we suddenly had time to see something of Poland's largest city. So here was the small ghetto, and then there was the big part of the ghetto. The ghetto was divided by the bridge. There was the bridge. You remember, maybe you heard about the pianist movie by Roman yes, Polanski. Yes, I was just thinking about it. So he created a movie this, yeah. this place, and there was places around as well outside uh, the other side of the river. But uh, this is how we looked the ghetto. It's now uh, new ones. Yeah, 50s. Yeah, 50s. Still we had Perhaps understandably, some of the residents are tired of seeing tourists. Our guide Magic told us that seeing the sight of the Jewish ghetto and remembering the horrors inflicted by the Nazis on the Jews and Poles is a pilgrimage for many tourists, and that this type of tour is the one most frequently requested. We've now reached the site of the infamous Powiak Prison. The prison, constructed in 1836, was almost entirely destroyed by the Nazis when they retreated. The remains have been reconstructed as a museum and a memorial. The hated Nazi SS made Powiak Prison their Warsaw headquarters. Interrogation and shocking torture was conducted here. It is estimated that almost 40,000 prisoners were shot here, and many more were dispatched from here to Treblinka and other camps. Oh, many different kind of pictures, you know, how people lived here. If you like to see them. We are now in the basement of the Powiak Museum, where many of the exhibits are. We've now gone to an area that was once part of the Jewish ghetto. It looks quite different today, of course, but if you listen hard and use your imagination. Famous monument. We got a nine foot eight, three years after the war, but five years after the ghetto uprising, because ghetto was here. Some materials intended for Nazi memorials were used in the construction of this monument. There was a big building, many buildings that were used, especially basements, as a, like bunkers, so they called bunkers. Today, no numbers, just number one on your left side there. Magic has taken us over to Krasinski Square to see the monument to the heroes of the Polish partisan uprising in 1944. All the buildings located in this beautiful square, including the palace and the cathedral, were either destroyed or very badly damaged during the war. Across the square is the rebuilt cathedral. The anchor to the left and the propeller to the right of the main entrance honor the Polish armed forces. We are now moving closer to the old town section of Warsaw. Many children and young teens fought with the partisans. And of course, it's part of the Jewish resistance in the ghetto as well. Only about a block from the statue of the little sergeant is the Barbican, the partially restored ramparts of the old town. Thank you.
popular ya. Patrick has taken us down to the basement of a well-known couple of hundred-year-old restaurant pub that's preparing to serve this evening's dinner crowd. Located just off the square, this building, same as all the others, was destroyed during the World War II bombings. However, these subterranean areas pretty much survived intact. We leave Market Square and head to Castle Square, only a couple of hundred meters away. We'll have just time to take a very quick look. So they have to increase the rails, and then they they, they change out the There's our gate. And you want to stay here? I could I find a money issue. Well, the answer to Hesse's question is yes and no. We're very glad to have had the unexpected opportunity to see Warsaw, and we would have liked to have had more time. But it's better that we stay out near the airport. Given the traffic snarls we've seen already coming in, getting out to the airport tomorrow morning from here might be harrowing. We certainly don't want to miss another flight to Odessa or the start of our Dnieper River tour, from which we hope to bring back a lot of interesting video.